episode 18 of the American Dream and it is the World Cup quarterfinal. Who would have thought we would have been here? Um, but we have made it here and we've got friends today who are ranked number one in the world, reigning world champions, and it's going to be very difficult. They've not lost a game for yonks. Um, and it's going to be 34 degrees and an 86,000 sellout capacity in Qatar. Uh, if you are wondering how we got here and you haven't been watching this World Cup, where on earth have you been? Um, going back, we got through the group stage against Belgium, Cameroon and Uruguay. We've then just beat a much, much changed, very depleted Germany side. 3-0 uh, in, the, in, the in the round of 16. We now play France, which is going to be a very big test. A big test made more difficult by the fact that our captain, Weston McKenna, is out suspended. Um, Anthony Robinson does return, but it does mean a start in a World Cup quarterfinal for 35-year-old Michael Bradley. Um, we need all his experience. We need everything from him here. And he did just score a cracker in the last game, so hopefully he can repeat that. 175 caps so far. I mean, none bigger than this. I'm sure, I'm sure that's... Um, do you know what I mean? It's something that he's going to really enjoy. So this is the team that starts against France. It will be Stefan in goal. A back four of Dest, Palmer, Brown, Brooks and Robinson. Bradlett, Parks and Adams make up the midfield three. Big decisions up front. I was going to play Timothy Weir up there. See, Abachu came on and scored. Um, I might still play Timothy. I'm going to play Timothy Weir as the striker. Because if we're going to get a chance in this game... We're going to break away. And we are Pulisic and Amon between them. have got the pace to cause all sorts of problems. So that's what I'm hoping for. And that will be the team to start. I mean, let's have a look at what this uh, this France side, what happens here. Because I'm sure this is going to be a side. So they've got um, Bernardoni in, in goal. A back four of Pavard, Umtite, Americ Laporte and Fenland Mende. Uh, Pogba and Tolisso anchor in the midfield with Griezmann, Awa, Mbappe and Martial. That's not bad, is it? Um, but, again, if the American dream ends here at a World Cup quarter-final, then fair enough. Um, we are underdogs here. Pressure is off. We seem to respond well to that um, in the last game. So, hopefully... Do you know what I mean? He is a fine player. Um, I don't like to talking their players up. And obviously Weston McKenna is a big loss to us. But who would have expected this? I don't know what's happened to that bit at the stadium. Uh, there's a nice few trees behind that goal. Maybe if we're struggling towards end, we'll just smash it out of there. Because obviously they're not going to have a multi-ball system in World Cup. It's not like playing down at... Uh, Graves Park, is it? So, no. Anyway, France, early doors, keeping possession. We're not going to have a lot of possession here, I don't think. And we're going to need a bit of luck, to say the least. And we're going to need a cracking goalkeeping performance. And we are going to need 11 men on the pitch. But fortunately, Tyler Adams doesn't pick up a card for that early challenge. Um, get, to, get to 20 minutes, first and foremost. Get to 20 minutes. We'll build from there. Um, as Amon comes forward into Keaton Parks. We're attacking though. Anthony Robinson should be fresh after missing the last game. Down this left hand side. It's back to Adams. Oh, Parks. Oh, and we've missed the chance. And it was so nearly a perfect start for the USA. France have got a free kick that they play short into Fenland Mende. Now we've got Mbappe to deal with. And we deal with him. Bradley does well there using his experience. Not giving him a real chance at goal. As Anthony Robinson, it's a free kick, which comes straight back to him. And don't lose it there. He doesn't. Keaton Parks picks up possession and plays it back to Michael Bradley. Anchoring that midfield and it's into Dest. It's early doors. It has been the USA who have been in control of this game. And we will look to play out from the back. Brooks, Stefan plays it to Brooks. Brooks now. Into Tyler Adams. Into the midfield and Keaton Parks. Knocks it down the left-hand side for Robinson. He's got Amon inside him. Does he want to use him? He does. Nice little flick into Amon. And Amon takes a strike, but it's blocked well by France. Um, it's been speculative efforts, but six shots, one on target. It doesn't look like France are dictating as we expected. Anthony Robinson's got a free kick that, again, doesn't beat the wall. But Amon goes marauding down this left-hand side. Can he get a ball in? It's a tackle from Laporte. Oh, and he can't quite get that ball into the box. 
Um, Christian Pulisic is on a 6.5, and I don't want to see that today. I need a Pulisic masterclass down this right-hand side. I know he's up against Fenland Mende, but he's got to do bits for us. Dest has gone marauding down that right. Marauding seems to be a bit word at there today. Um, as Tyler Adams picks out Dest, right. Now Dest has got a chance. It's into Keaton Parks. Dest again, exchanging passes and back to Bradley. Bradley. Square pass. Oh, and that's awful. And Bappy's through. And what a save by Stefan. Oh, and I don't need to tell him. He's motivated. I don't need to tell him that were a suicide ball across middle at pitch that. France have a free kick. Pogba oh, and Paul Pogba scored. And after all that good work, it's a set piece that does us. Um, that's disappointing, isn't it? And Pogba, do you know what I mean? A talent, a massive talent, bit of a, do you know what I mean? Not always the most professional, bit of a trouble causer is the word I was looking for, but, and now France are coming forward again. Oh, and they've hit the bar, and now we really need to get to half time now. We've got to get to half time. I did away well by Anthony Robinson. Amon does well, and Amon will sprint away, but France block it. Well, Jesus Christ, that's going to be offside, wasn't it? It were offside. Um, we've been okay in that half. And hopefully we could pinch some here from a long throw from Anthony Robinson. Right, chucked in. Keeper's going to catch that. That's awful. That is not what we're wanting. And it's smashed upfield by France. We don't win the first ball. We don't win the second. And Bappe is up against Anthony Robinson. And Stefan makes a good save. And Bappe starting to show all his qualities now down this side. And that ain't good news for us, I'm afraid. Um, as Mbappe crosses in, it's headed away, and they've scored, and it's, oh, it's him. The man that the press mentioned before the game, it's 2-0 to France, and, I mean, we've, we've, we've won first, and haven't we? But we've just not won that. I mean, questions about Laporte maybe being offside, but after a positive start, we've really struggled there, um, and I think we've got to, Expect a much better showing in that second half. We're going to have to attack. Um, we're going to have to attack. I think that's that's obvious. Um, we're going to play fairly wide. We're going to be more expressive. Um, I need something from nothing here. And I think it's going to be Milajevic I bring on to sort it out. Adams is, Could Adams play as a defensive midfielder? He could. Right, Bradley's going to come off. Um, it's going to be Adams who comes on in midfield. Um, Amon, I'm going to gear that front three. He's got 15 minutes maybe to show that there's something to do. And then really, it's going to be just everybody's on for attacking. I'm going to bring Sergeant on, maybe see a batch. He'll stick to up front, three up front, five up front, whatever we need to do. Um and we'll go long ball. We'll try and we'll try and do something like that. Martial into the box. It's fizz wide. We just want one goal and get us back into it, and maybe take it into the last ten minutes. Pulisic again. He's so inconsistent. He's so inconsistent. Pulisic. I mean, it were five minutes away from being took off in last game, but did something good. I need something again. Um, Pavard's down this side, defending to do, and we defend well. And it's cleared upfield, and Tolisso will recover it for France. We're not really getting um, a chance now. I've got a formation in my head what I might switch to. And we've got more defending to do, and Stefan this time palms it away. I said, Stefan, we're going to have to have a good game. He certainly is doing. And then Bappe will take the corner. He's whipped in again and Stefan claims it well. Good goalkeeping. He's not had a chance with either goal, to be fair. Um, and now France will take this goal kick. We're not really in this suddenly. It feels like we're not in this. And that is disappointing for us as they knock another ball on and Bappe skip past Robinson. They get the third. It's game over. Stefan makes another good save. Unfortunately, we managed to hold, we're managing to hold on here. But it's very difficult to see how we're going to... There's a push there, sure, there is. 
Is it time to switch it to a 4 3 3 in a bit? Maybe. Amon now, down this side. Can he do something? Amon plays it back to Robinson. Adams, come on, lads. Amon again. Back to Robinson. Chance to cross. Oh, he doesn't get the ball in. Come on, lads. Can't quite get it into the box. Pulisic crosses in. We are. It's the bloody crossbar. Oh, we've had, we've had, haven't we had a couple of chances? Absolutely. Have we taken them? Absolutely not. That's a good defence. That's a good bit of defending. Pavard, Martial, it's 3-0. And I think, ladies and gents, that is probably it. But, 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 right. What we're going to do is we're going to push him up there and we're going to push him up there no in fact no we're not we're going to leave him out there um timothy weir is doing okay i might just go to a flat free at bike you know i might just go to a flat free at bike and i know it's suicide against against them but i think it's probably it's probably reasonable at this moment in time um who's going to play at center half is it going to be Robinson, or is it going to be Dest? Well, Dest is tiring, so Dest is going to come off. Sergeant's going to go up front. Uh, Palmer Brown's going to go there. I mean, to be fair, I could just do that. I think we'll do that instead. Right, we'll have him as a complete wing back on attack. We'll have him as a complete wing back on attack. Um, there's no point in defending now. He's going to play as a deep line playmaker on support. It's going to be very attacking, um, right? More direct, it early crosses, shoot on sight, just everything that we can do here. Um, much higher defensive line, get stuck in, use offside trap. We're just going. To, we're not playing out at back anymore. Um, are we? We're not playing out of the bike. No, we're not. Um, and that's what we're going to do. So this is it. Last throw of the dice. As France go 3 0 up, we've got to go for it. We bring on two strikers. Um, what more can I do? I've just got to sit now and up. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do. What more can I do? Um, I'll demand more. <laughs> and Griezmann's got a free kick, and it's blocked well by our wall. I mean, there's no shame in this. There is no shame in going out to France like this. Oh, and he could have nicked that. There's no shame in going out to France. I'm not upset about it. Um, as Timothy Weir looks to come down this right-hand side. Go on, let's get one back. Oh, and you can't beat Fenland Mender. And Timothy Weir's not had the tournament that we were probably hoping. He's done okay in spells. Um... Uh, but being substituted a couple of times and not quite being our main man, which we hoped he would be, um, which is a disappointing thing. But I mean, we we're sort of trying to go gun go now, aren't we? And we just, I imagine, we're just launching balls into the box. Um, and here is Brooks, who plays the ball down this right hand side. We don't win it. We don't win it. And I mean, they have got pace to burn and quality on this break. I mean, Coma and Mbappe. If we score, if they score four or five, they score four or five. I'm not, I'm not upset about that. Um, but we've got to have a go, haven't we? And I, I feel we tried early in the second half. Um, but that that third goal was massive. I think if we'd have got that, we'd have been back in with a chance. But sadly, we didn't. Uh, and that's where France have, you know, really showed their dominance as Adams comes down this side, crosses in. Oh, and it's a good save by their goalkeeper. That would have give us a, given us a glimmer of hope. Um, and sadly, it's not to be. I mean, when their keeper's not had a hell of a lot to do, has he? Let's be fair. Um, but certainly, he's uh, he's come up when needed. And that's, you know, the mark of a good goalkeeper. I mean, he's not got a bad back four in front of him, has he? And then another six in front of that. So, another chance for us to cross it in. See a you. Aim on. Still aim on. Oh, and it's another good save from Bernadone. Do we deserve a goal? I think so. I think we go out with a goal. I think that wouldn't be dis too disappointing. Um, 
as Griezmann fires one into the side netting. And 90 minutes is nearly up. And we are just playing out our World Cup. But if he did offer us a quarter final, beating Uruguay, beating Cameroon, drawing with Belgium, do you know what I mean? We beat Germany, I know, albeit he's probably got an asterisk next to it, which is fair. But, I mean, with Wigan France a guffer, 10 for probably 40, 30 odd minutes, I'm knocking it down on a 45, 30, 25. I think for 30 minutes we've given him a go. Um, and really worked hard to try and contain them. But unfortunately, they've just got a bit too much quality and there's nothing we can do about that. 3-0, we do exit the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. But proud of the boys. I think we've done very well. Um, I'm just going to tell them unlucky. Um, it was just one of those days. It were, I feel that's fair. England went out as well. So we did as well as England. And unfortunately, Pulisic is disappointed with loss. I mean, bloody hell, I'm disappointed with him. Um, and the USA must build on the uh, World Cup experience, and that that is probably true. Um, as it's coming to the words of F coming to the end of FM Twenty now, it's coming towards the end. Um, we're going to have a think now. This lot, this is obviously Wednesday's episode. Now we normally have a Friday and a Sunday one. Um, I'm going to have a look at if we do another World Cup. I might just go to another World Cup just to run us on to FM21. Um, there is going to be a beta save. That's important for you to note for the channel. Um, and then we're going to have a look at what is going to be for next year. So I don't know if we're going to carry this save on. This may be the last episode. And if it is, thank you all so much for watching. It's, it's got some decent views at times. I'm only a small YouTuber. I only started this year. Um, and it's been really enjoyable. And it's certainly got us through this, certainly got me through this, uh, this weird year that uh, that we're having so thank you so much for watching um oh it's a signal in it could we have won it absolutely not see you later